Looking across the Roanoke Valley right now, looking towards the Roanoke Blacksburg Regional Airport. You can see the control tower there. Relatively quiet. Some clouds are rolling through, but don't let that fool you. We do have a chance for a few stronger storms late today. Most of those, though, should remain on the isolated side. 76 Roanoke, 75 Lynchburg, 75 Blacksburg, all seeing variably cloudy conditions. A little more sunshine down toward the south side. That's why Danville, Martinsville, you're already into the mid 80s. 76 Lewisburg, Withville coming in right at the 70. Degree mark. You can see the clouds rolling through our area, kind of drifting up to the north and the east. A couple of sprinkles, north central parts of Virginia, the rest of our area. Not much going on right now, but as we gain a little heating of the day with some sunshine and a weak frontal boundary drifting into the area and then beginning to stall out, we will see some of these thunderstorms developing as we head through the afternoon. And there is a slight risk that a couple of those could be strong. Earlier this morning, we did have a couple of showers towards southwestern sections, but you notice as they drift to the east, all of those fell apart. So as you're heading out right now, we are finding quiet conditions. But look at this. Storm Prediction Center does have a good portion of the Commonwealth under a slight risk of severe storms late today into the evening hours. That just means that a couple of these storms that do develop could contain strong gusty winds, heavy rainfall, and even some hail not out of the question. But you notice with our rainfall amounts, not really looking at that much rain. Now, if your hometown does fall under one of those thunderstorms that has heavier downpours, you get more of this. But since they'll be so isolated, it doesn't really average in only a little bit of rain, but as we head toward Thursday, a better chance seeing some heavier rain showers within some of the thunderstorms that roll through. And by Friday, Saturday, we'll go back to your typical pop up storms. Your fitness forecast today, gonna get up into the mid 80s again with that chance for a couple of thunderstorms here and there, cooling back down late tonight. This afternoon, if you're at the pool, high right around 86. But again, if you hear thunder roar, head indoors. Lightning can strike over 10 miles away from a parent thunderstorm. Maybe you're heading to the Greenbrier Classic over in White. Sulphur Springs, West Virginia. Temperatures cooler in the mountains, upper 70s to near 80. And we do have a chance for thunderstorms each afternoon as well, with a strong southwesterly push and this frontal boundary kind of pouring into the area. The front will begin to stall out, and then we're going to get ripples of energy along, along that front, keeping the chance of storms going. Tonight, isolated storms, temperatures dropping into the low to mid 60s. Forecast model tomorrow, just an isolated stray storm. Better chances on Thursday, and some of that could fall heavily at times. And then Typical storms Friday and Saturday. Roanoke Valley for Wednesday, mid 80s will do it. Isolated storms. Central Virginia, mid 80s, an isolated pop up storm. Southern Virginia, same story, mid to upper 80s as you head through the New River Valley, Southwest, Blacksburg, Radford, Pulaski, Whitville, all in the upper 70s and low 80s. Highlands, Greenbrier, 70s, low to mid 80s with a pop up shower storm. Seven day planner, Thursday, scattered storms. Some storms may contain some heavier rainfall. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, holiday weekend. And 4th of July holiday, that is. A couple of storms here and there expected this time of year with highs in the mid 80s. Yeah, with your cookout, throw in a few thunderstorms too, just to just make it interesting. Sky, exactly. It's That's fine. Right.